Okay, so a heckler. What is a heckler to begin with? Well, first of all, it's a uh, magician's either best friend or worst friend, meaning somebody that is interrupting you while you're doing magic. Either doesn't want you to be there, does want you to be there, but they want you to bring all the attention to them, meaning uh, Mr. Center of Attention, um, or just somebody in the group that dislikes the attention and they want to remain still the main person in the group even though you're showing a magic. So they are the annoying person, you could say, but they can work in our favor as well because it can make the magic stronger and the performance stronger as well when performing to these people. So the key tips are for hecklers, um, if they're drunk, try not to encourage them too much because obviously you don't know what a drunk person is going to do. I don't mean physically wise, you know, fighting, I'm on about uh, what they can come out with. They may just grab the cards. So, you know, just be careful when they're a bit tipsy or drunk. Uh, but a normal heckler will basically be uh, after a center of attention. A few ways to make sure they don't ruin your act is if a heckler does come at you, just do one liners, meaning don't give them the opportunity to come back at the answer that you've just thrown at them. So for example, if one of them says, I know how you did that, just say, so do I, and move on. Or if one says, I saw how you did that, to say, I know, oh, you know, you could say, um, I'm pleased you learned it too. You know, just give them one liners, don't let them come back at you. Don't say, what, you actually saw me how I did that. And then they'll come back and then you've got this whole little war going on. So you don't, you don't want to give them any opportunity to come back from the questions or the answers you're given. Uh, the other way to kind of, you could say, diffuse a heckler is if they want to be center of attention, allow them to be center of attention. Go to them first when you're doing the magic. And trust me, you'll know where they are and who they are because when you approach the table, they're always the first ones to make some cheeky comments, maybe try and come at you, say, are they a normal pack of cards? Uh, you know, tons of ways. I learned magic, or you do, you're doing the same tricks as me. You know, all this kind of stuff you, you get used to when you perform to real people uh, in the real world. But again, diffuse it by allowing them to be the first person in your act. Once you've allowed them to be the first person, normally they're happy. They kind of give you the permission to perform to their friends, as weird as that sounds, but go to them first. And again, that also helps with kids as well. If you've got kids in the audience, allow them to pick a card first or, sh or show the magic to the kids first. So if you've got a group of adults and a couple of kids, the kids are always going to be wanting some attention. Show some magic to them. They will feel proud to, ha to, you know, to have some magic performed to them and then they kind of loosen up and allow you to perform to the adults. And that's the same uh, kind of meaning behind the heckler as well. Perform to the heckler, he'll feel relaxed because the attention's been on him, which allows him then to relax and you to perform to other people. And also in a good way, positive way, a heckler can actually make your magic stronger. Um, especially if you've learned sleight of hand, this is another key point why I'd like you to check out the library section of the site, is because sleight of hand allows you to create magic, meaning if the heckler says, I didn't pick the seven of spades, I picked the nine of diamonds, even though he picked the seven of spades and he just thought of the nine of diamonds, you can instantly palm the nine, put it in your pocket, put it out of the pocket, and say, well, I don't know how you picked the nine because it's the one in my pocket. So there's lots of ways, and obviously that's a magic trick in itself. And magic's all about if you can give the audience what they want rather than you giving it to them. And the I think the, um, uh, the book in magic says, don't produce a ham sandwich, allow the person to say I'm hungry and then produce the ham sandwich. And basically that means the spectators ask for the magic and you've, you've given it to them, which makes it more magical. So again, if the heckler does say I didn't pick the ace of spades, the queen of diamonds he picked, produce the queen or just use the queen in magic. So sleight of hand will get you out of that situation. And um, also a heckler can make it more into a comedy routine as well, which brings you to life as a performer which helps in setting you for maybe for a future act when you're performing. So hecklers aren't the worst person to uh, perform to. They certainly give you a run for your money, but it's again, you do need them to make yourself feel comfortable when performing. But again, don't encourage, there's, there's always a limit. And as you understand when you are performing to these people, there is, you'll know the limit. So don't be scared of them, just go with it. And uh, don't encourage them too much, but you know, just, just ride with it and uh, hopefully enjoy the experience.